Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News update. We have a couple new installments to talk about today. When I say new, let's put new in quotation marks because it's kind of like what Hasbro does with Star Wars the Black Series, Star Wars Vintage Collection, when they do those live streams and they go, hey, we have a brand new expression to talk about today, making their new debut into a line that's been in existence for nearly 40 years, Darth Vader. And everybody goes wild and they go, but it's not just any Darth Vader. He's got a little blue check mark next to his name, just like in the seven. And everybody goes, yes. And I'm sitting there going, where is Dash Rendar, right? So to kind of segue back to the DC multiverse, in so many ways, with one of the two figures we're going to be talking about today, that's kind of the way it is. It's kind of like, hey, check him out. He's new with a new hat. But before we jump in, as always, if you are interested in anything we're going to be talking about here today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. As always, thank you very much for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. And speaking of Darth Vader... We have Deathstroke from the 7-inch Page Punchers DC Multiverse line. He makes a return. There you go. Deathstroke, blue, orange, white, melee weapons, swords. He was on display at the recent San Diego Comic-Con event. Yeah, it doesn't do much for me. Now, when I did see him on display, it just kind of looking at it, I immediately went, oh, that's cool. There's uh, Slade Wilson. It's unmasked Slade Wilson head. That's something new, something interesting. They did say, yes, he will have his standard mask. So you have swap out head portraits. That's always a good thing. This is just not my ideal look for Destro. In fact, as you'll soon see, you probably already have this figure. If you like it, that's all great and good. Just a heads up, because it is a reused figure, he doesn't even come with the knife that's supposed to go in the sheath. That's on his leg. That's that's one of those things where I immediately go, no, we can't keep doing this. We can't keep going. Well, it's okay. No, that figure is missing a core component. It's supposed to have a knife in the sheath on the leg. Come on, McFarlane Toys. That, th those are things. See, it's built up. It's built up all. Hey, you keep stacking and stacking. You say on the back of the, the Batman Beyond card, the trading card, you say Bruce Wayne was trained by Bruce Wayne. These are little things that is very important to us collectors. So when you do this kind of thing, I go, no, that is a no bueno. In fact, yeah, it's something that I already have. I already have this figure. I have it. And in fact, here it is. It's a figure that's already come out. Sure, the colors are different. You get a little bit more blue this time around. So he's black and orange first go around, but he's got the knife. He's got the knife for the sheath. He doesn't look anything like the trading card. It's not for me. Now, this one is a total pass. It comes with a comic book. That's the whole page puncher's dealio. So you can read up on Deathstroke Rebirth if you'd like. But no, this one, because of, it, I told you, the stacking problems over and over. This one, no, 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 no. Redo it. Classic Deathstroke, something like that. Do, do it again. <laughs> we await the next Deathstroke. But in a juxtaposition to Deathstroke, we also have Damian Wayne Robin. Now, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm not a huge Damian Wayne fan. In fact, I feel like I have far too many Damian Waynes already. But when I did see this figure on display at the San Diego Comic Con event, yeah, I immediately went, you know, that's that's a pretty slick looking Damian Wayne. Some people have said that his proportions are kind of wonky, kind of odd. Uh, I did see this figure in person. Didn't really look too crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary for a DC multiverse figure. But I'll have to wait until I have it more in hand, the final product. I don't think that there's going to be much in the way of something in the abs, the waist, that kind of thing, unless they've figured something out where, yeah, you can fit an ab crunch in there over that rubber overlay. Much of the vein of the Page Punchers line, you will get a Batman and Robin, number one, so this Robin will go nice with that new Dick Grayson Batman that is hitting store shelves right now. The wired cape looks good, and if I'm not mistaken, he looks to have a wired hood, although that could also be misleading as to why they wouldn't post a cool photo with the wired hood. 
that perplexes me. I will say that. But hopefully, fingers crossed, that's not just a plastic piece. Didn't really look that way in person at the event. So, like I said, remains to be seen. At least we know the cape itself is wired. So, you get Damian Wayne Robin. You get that really stellar black stand. Got to have that. You get a sword, which we have seen multiple times. But that one little piece down there, that's certainly interesting. More on that in just a few. Like I said, in kind of looking at this figure at San Diego Comic-Con, seeing him all posed out, seeing him up close, personal with that head portrait, it's a pretty slick-looking figure. And as I said, not being a huge fan of Damian Wayne, I think they got the colors right. For the most part, the costume is there. They have reused parts and pieces, especially around the shoes. I think that those should be a little bit more high top-ish, go up a little bit more towards the shins. I wish they would have changed that. But yeah, overall, we'll just say from the photos, from my memory, the memory of these photos, sure. Yeah, it looks to be a pretty slick Damian Wayne. Now, as I said, that little accessory down there, that little pink thing, why, that's a broken Professor Pig mask. In case you didn't know, Dick Grayson, Damian Wayne, they team up, Batman and Robin. Damian Wayne kind of does his own thing, pretends to be captured, yada, yada. Professor Pig is, is one of the weirdest villains, but it tells you what, if that's supposed to be a little hint, a little tidbit for an upcoming figure, by all means, DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys definitely give us a Professor Pig. I would love that. So he'll definitely be one that I will be a grabbing. Now, to go from McFarlane Toys over to Super 7, Super 7 did tease that they have something coming for Batman 89. Now, you have to think about Super 7. You got to think about all the licensing. You got to think about every little piece and who's making what and all that. Yes, lo and behold, they are going to be doing a Super Cyborg version of the 89 Batmobile, which is interesting. If you are a fan, not only of Super 7, but of their Super Cyborgs, they've done everything from Optimus Prime to the Megazord and the Dragonzord and everything else from Power Rangers. It's definitely one of those old school ideas that Super 7 definitely thrives on. 13 inches long, removable panels, which that's the whole deal with Super Cyborg inspired goods. You take the parts and pieces off, you get to see the inner workings, which for a lot of people out there might be right up their alley to see all the inner workings of the Batman 89 Batmobile. But if you look close, you can definitely see some seats. So I will say this, if you get this and you have 3.75 inch Batman, Batman Returns, something like that, like kind of what Spin Master is doing, that kind of style. That might go really well inside this Batmobile, wink, wink. I will tell you this though, things that came from the past, like Kenner type stuff, might be a little bit too big, too cumbersome. Superpowers, probably not gonna work either. It really is more into that actual 3.75 inch scale so keep that in mind perhaps you have a batman that will fit perfectly but like i said 13.9 inches long the batman 89 batmobile classic batmobile eh, the batmobile everybody thinks of i'm sure so again if you'd like something like this i'll put a link down on the amazon so you can grab it today so that is going to wrap it up for my quick look at some brand new dc comics items both from mcfarland toys and Super 7. Again, like I said, if you're interested in anything we've been talking about here, affiliate pruder links, handy dandy links down in the description below. Make it real easy on you. And again, thank you always for watching. Hope you guys enjoy these little talks. I certainly do. And I love talking to you guys down in the comments. You've heard my thoughts. So now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batman and of the DC Comics universe. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We will be taking a look at some more DC Multiverse figures very shortly. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.